plus smoke alarm tests. Find out which works best to safeguard your family. Imagine this, you're sound asleep in your own home when a fire breaks out. The only warning you're going to get is from a smoke alarm. But how long will it take to sound that warning? Every minute counts in this life or death equation, and it turns out the vast majority of us have the wrong type of smoke alarm fitted in our homes. Mother, daughter, partner, niece, nephew, all gone. A house fire robbed Colin Zonneveld of most of his family. All he has left is 11-year-old son, Shane. I feel pretty lost. Pretty lost and, yeah. Shane feels pretty lonely with, with his family gone. And, mm. What makes it harder is the fact Colin believed his home and family were protected by what's called an ionisation smoke alarm. We thought we were doing the right thing. Thought we had everything here. Yeah right and obviously didn't. I used to be a professional fireman. I've been on this for over five years. The fact is the type of smoke alarms in almost every home is a defective device. They do not work properly. Adrian Butler is sounding the alarm. The former firefighter and smoke alarm salesman claims the most common form of smoke detector found in 97% of Australian homes is putting lives at risk. What about our families? Our kids are burning up and they've got these ionisation alarms. The damn things are so ineffective, it's unbelievable. What most Australians don't realise is there are two types of smoke alarms available. Photoelectric detects slow smouldering fires, the kind that start when you drop a cigarette onto the bed or couch. Ionisation ones work by detecting gases and particles coming off hot, flaming fires. They often lure owners into a false sense of security because they go off every time you burn your toast. They're characterised by this radioactive symbol on the back and are in almost every Australian home, more popular because they're cheaper. For 25 years, people have had the wrong smoke alarms in their home. It's been alleged hundreds of thousands of people have either needlessly died or been maimed because they've had the wrong detection in their homes. In order to prove this point for a current affair, Adrian put both types to the test. Smoke will build up in here, and then we're going to place the ionisation alarm into the aquarium and we'll see if it goes off, and then we're going to put the photoelectric in there. Once the aquarium was full of smoke, Adrian dropped in an ionisation alarm. Nothing happened. Minutes later, he dropped in a photoelectric alarm, and within 50 seconds... Interesting results from your demonstration. It sure is. This proves what we've been saying for five years. The ionisation didn't make a sound, the photoelectric that went in there later on went off and what it's going to do while people getting the right type of smoke alarms, thousands of lives are going to be saved. A larger scale study of 21 alarms conducted by New Zealand's Consumers Institute showed the same disturbing results. Both types of alarms picked up blazing fires quickly, but when it came to smouldering fires, some ionisation alarms took up to 10 minutes to go off and some did not go off at all. We reported on Adrian's crusade a year and a half ago, and now authorities are finally listening. The fire agencies are now recommending to the public, based on research, that they consider putting in place photoelectric smoke alarms. The Australasian Fire Authorities Council has finally admitted Photoelectric alarms are consistently more effective than ionisation alarms at detecting smouldering fires in homes. And in cases of such fires, ionisation alarms may not alert occupants in time to escape safely. Gary Morgan. Does this mean Australian homes fitted with ionisation smoke alarms have not been fully protected? I believe that the homes have been well protected in the past and they will be even better protected as we move into the future. So what do you have in your home? I have uh, an ionisation alarm in my home at the present. And 
what will you be doing following this? I'll definitely be installing a photoelectric alarm. It's important information, isn't it? Elise Mooney there, and if you're not sure about what smoke detector you have at home, check what you need to get by going to our website.